The big story tonight, the tapes, the trooper, his questionable past. The seven investigators obtaining stunning body cam video in the death of a teenager tased on his ATV. 15-year-old Damon Grimes died last August. He was being chased by a Michigan State trooper when... They tased his he's driving. Tonight, that video raising questions about that trooper, the response at the scene, and the shocking comments from officers after the crash. Our big story investigation begins with 7 investigator Ross Jones to show you what that video reveals. The horrific scene is all caught on camera. 25 hours worth of video from police body cameras to dash cams, even video shot by witnesses. What's almost as shocking as Grimes' death are the disturbing and sometimes insensitive comments by other officers on the scene. They had to hit him. Look how his bike bent up. I need justice for my little brother. It is a violation of our departmental policy to fire a taser from a moving vehicle. They need to be calling an ambulance. I miss him every day. He was only 15. On August 26th last year, a Michigan State Trooper was in pursuit of 15-year-old Damon Grimes. These videos tell the story of his senseless death. He flipped, flipped. Yep. Tell there's an accident. While Grimes rode his red ATV on Rossini Drive in Detroit, Trooper Mark Bessner's squad car was in pursuit. When Grimes didn't pull over, Bessner shot him with a taser, a violation of department policy. Grimes crashed into a parked truck. What happened? They taste the way he's driving, causing him to flip the They're coming from uh, Grash and, I'm sorry, Grash and Rosini. Okay, we're going to say we have another two maybe there more support. Quickly, nearby officers from MSP and Detroit Police respond to the scene. There, standing over Grimes' body, is Trooper Bessner. Yeah, Grash in the dark. Oh. Can you, get a, can you get a mask out of it? He was going pretty slow. He's got a pulse. He's breathing. But quickly, Grimes' condition worsens while other officers watch helplessly. Listen. He had a strong pulse. Yeah, we got here. It's a real thing. Tony, his pulse is weakening. What's our ETA? On EMS. His pulse is weakening. I'm like, I'm like, thing and you chase the While most officers arriving on the scene turn their body cameras on, some appear to turn theirs off. As one officer arrives, another approaches, placing his hand over her body camera. Immediately, she turns her camera off. He's 15. Where's his mom at? When EMS arrived at the hospital, Grimes was pronounced dead. Hours later, police were still on the scene. As the sun set, they used a hose to clean up the crime scene where a 15-year-old lost his life. Neighbors watched in disbelief. Trooper Bessner resigned from the Michigan State Police after Grimes' death. He is set to be tried for murder in August. Even before he joined Michigan State Police, Bessner's conduct in another police department set off red flags. Our big story coverage continues with 7 Investigator Simon Shaquette, who's live in Canton. Simon. Ross, we obtained these documents through the Freedom of Information Act, and they spell out how Bessner broke the rules while working as an officer here in Canton. Some departments flat out just said, we're not going to tell you anything except that, yes, that's a, va a valued employee here, and they worked here from this date to this date. We showed state police spokesman and former hiring background investigator, Lieutenant Mike Shaw, the findings of our Freedom of Information Act request. One issue back on August 18th, 2010, that led to Bessner being suspended without pay was a failure to investigate after a woman ingested pills in an apparent suicide attempt. Instead, Bessner locked her up and she later became unconscious, stopped breathing and required emergency help before being placed on life support. And that would be something we would talk to them about. If we knew about it, we would discuss it with them. Now coming up at six, why state police likely didn't know about the information that we obtained and what else we found about Bessner's past. Reporting live, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Simon, thanks for the live report. And we invite you to head to WXYZ.com right now for continuing coverage of our big story. We've posted an in-depth look at the timeline of events following the crash on our website 
and also our Facebook page.